How's it going everyone, Daxels here and today we're going to be reacting to the official Call of Duty Modern Warfare reveal trailer. I was a big fan of all the Call of Duty games, uh, not the recent ones, uh, Call of Duty's kind of died out in my gaming scene, I, I did love Call of Duty back in its day, I think the last one I truly loved was Black Ops 2 and then it kind of died from there in my opinion but in, in the end Modern Warfare was the best series of all of the Call of Duty games. But enough of that, let's get back to the reaction of this trailer. Let's go into it. And away we go. Actual in-game footage, okay. I don't know why they say that and then throw a cutscene at you, but The still, rules have changed. You know what I mean? There's a fine line between right and wrong. That's pretty cool, though, how they just appear. Just somewhere. In that's the cool. He looked like a rock. Okay, that's cool. In the shadows. They send us in to find them. I recognise that cigar Captain anywhere. Target is in the main house. You have executed authority. Captain Price. Captain Price. Bravo Six. Going dark. Three. Start the clear. October 25th, okay. Who's your team? Got some old comrades. Some old comrades, nice. That looks really good. Well, it depends really. Hold on, let's get into the discussion. In my honest opinion, would it say actual, yeah, actual in-game footage when it's all cutscenes? It's kind of like a, a brag about how you can do a cutscene well. We know you can do cutscenes well. But you know what I mean? Actual in-game footage, I would expect like some actual gameplay. You're just bragging about cutscenes. Well, that, that was unnecessary. You could have just said reveal trailer and we would have been okay with that. But it was a bit unnecessary. But okay, never mind. But um, enough complaining about stupid things. Uh, in total, it looks like it could do well. I'm looking forward to... Um, to it coming out, uh, I, I do appreciate the onlines, but with the previous loot boxes coming in, I think since Advanced Warfare, it's destroyed the game completely, and it's just based on who has the most money, not or who's sweated out the game the longest. It's it's not balanced in some way at all, and the unattainable levels that they've increased in uh, Call of Duty. Uh, you could get to like 10th prestige and then because some people have got to 10th prestige too soon they increase the level to a thousand while getting a prestige or some stupid stuff like that I don't understand the a thousand level thing it kind of makes an un unobtainable goal in the time frame that you expect your game to be out it, Call of Duty was an amazing game and when you hit that top level you felt like a boss no matter who you were and then if you played it long enough you would be that level but nowadays, the only time you'd be that level is if you didn't stop playing the game for a year straight. Because after that year, that game becomes a bit obsolete. And that is the fact. That is a true fact. Because they bring out a yearly game now. And I wouldn't be surprised when they hit the, p the point of two CODs a year. But it is a good game. A good game. And I hope they do well with this. I hope they bring Call of Duty back to where it was. God knows. Well, anyway, if you enjoyed that video, please leave a like, comment, would you like me to react to next? You can also check out, if you want to, my gaming channel in the social below in the description. I will see you in the next video. Stay amazing. Laters.